Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Fahed and I work at the Ottawa Hospital. I'm an interventional neuroradiologist. My job consists in navigating catheters inside the vessels of the brain to make pictures and diagnosis, but also to treat various conditions that affect the vessels of the brain. These can be aneurysms, bleedings, or strokes, for example. Until now, we were only able to see through the vessels of the brain using X-ray technology. This has been the only thing we've ever been able to see during a procedure. We inject dye within the vessels, and using X-ray technology, we see where the dye goes by visualizing through the vessels. But no one has ever been able to actually see what is happening inside the vessels. That was until very recently, when a Canadian company has been able to develop a camera that is small enough to see inside the vessels. This is the camera. It's called the microendroscope. It's a Canadian-made device. And for the very first time in the world and in the history, here at the Ottawa Hospital, we've been able to use this to see inside the vessels of the brain. The microendroscope is so small and soft that it can safely navigate inside the brain vessels. All I have to do is insert it inside my catheter and then I can push it through all the way up to the brain. I'll then be able to visualize the inside of the brain vessels. We use the camera to visualize the inside of the carotid artery of a patient who was having recurrent strokes. We had been unable to diagnose his condition despite multiple imaging examinations. With the camera, we've finally been able to understand the cause for his strokes and determine the appropriate treatment. We were able to deploy a stent across the lesion to prevent him from having another stroke. This is a complete game changer. This is so small and flexible that it can go anywhere we want to finally visualize the vessels from the inside to understand how the conditions are caused within the brain vessels, how we treat them, and why treatment sometimes works and sometimes fails. The future looks fantastic now. We are finally going to be able to expand our knowledge and understanding of all the cerebrovascular disease we are going to be able to collaborate with companies and industries to develop new treatments, new devices, but also new techniques. A very bright future lies ahead for interventional neuroradiology now, and the story started here at the Ottawa Hospital.